This is the full tutorial for 7.3.3 which requires you to complete a bubble sort. Now you should have already completed a random sort. Many of the features of a random sort will be used here so it will hopefully help you to understand the process. We will start with a green flag clicked then we need to make a list. Mine will be Star Trek characters. Okay. It should need about 15 items. Okay, so I've got 15 items in my list, and then we need free variables just like in your random sort. So our free variables, one of them will be flag. Now as you know, flag represents the flag which is held up throughout the sort and is only down when the list is sorted and there is no swaps needed. Okay, as well as flag, we have temp. Now temp is kind of like a container, so as two items are sorted, temp will hold the item so that it can replace the one in the position before. And then we also need to add a final variable. The final variable is going to be called count. Okay, and just like with the random sort, we will begin by setting and we will set our flag to 1. Then we need to use repeat until because of course uh, our bubble sort does not go forever. It only goes until the list has, been, has gone through the entire list and there hasn't been any swaps. So we're going to repeat until not flag equals 1. So when the flag doesn't equal 1, be careful not to leave any spaces here because that will confuse the program. Repeat until not flag equals 1. That's when everything's sorted. And then we need to set twice. So we'll duplicate. Set our flag to 0. And we need to set our count to 1. Then we need to use repeat and we are going to repeat the length of our list again and again. So length of Star Trek characters repeat length of Star Trek characters. Now the reason I'm using minus is because we're not going to go through the entire list because as you know in a bubble sort you look at items two at a time so the last item on the list doesn't need to be looked at that's why we're doing this and then we need to use an if variable and we are going to use a greater than operator and we are going to use item if item count of Star Trek characters greater than, and I'll just duplicate this and use an operator item count plus one of Star Trek characters then set flag to one 
and set temp to item count of Star Trek characters. And then we need to use two replace blocks. And we are going to replace item count of Star Trek characters with item count plus one of Star Trek characters. So I can just duplicate up here. And then we're going to replace item count plus one. I'll just take that block of Star Trek characters with temp. And then we are just about done. You must very carefully nest change just here, change count by one. And then it looks like our program is just about complete. So if everything work is working as it should, when I click on the green flag, this list should be sorted alphabetically using bubble sort. Let's test it going through the list one at a time, item at a time, and then going back to the beginning, and you can see it's finally completed a successful bubble sort. Now as an extension, I would recommend that you add a randomizer, just like you did in the previous task. So add a randomizer here, so that when I have bubble sorted it, I have a way to make the list random again, so that I can again bubble sort it, so add a random program underneath.